and welcome back. This is Marla with Mad About Cards and Crafts, and I have a card for you featuring the Scrappin' Cottage's recent release, which is called Strawberries and Bees. I have aptly named my card Strawberry Feels Forever. Here is a look at the products that I'll be using. I have the Strawberry Cottage. I have the Strawberries with Mouse. I'll be using the Terracotta Pot the strawberries, and then the peeking mouse, which is adorable. We have fresh strawberry patch. I'll be using the butterfly, the bee, and the sign. And then we have the berry phrases. Now there is both cursive and print for these uh, sentiments. I'm going to show you a look at the back side. They come um, all ready for you to just die cut, and you'll have a so many different types of phrases that you can use on your cards. Here's a look at the sizes of some of the other dies. I wanted to share that. This Strawberry House is a larger set, so it is a larger die. As I've mentioned before, the Cottage Cuts dies do cut beautifully. Here's a look at the uh, fence, farm fence, I believe it's called. It's a slimline die. I'm actually going to cut part of it off because I am only going to need a section of it since I'll be using that large strawberry house. I'm going to ink my background. I do have a card panel that's been cut to eight and a quarter by three and a quarter inches, and I'm going to do some ink blending with Salty Ocean Distress Ink. I wanted to talk about this inking process. You'll notice that I have white spots on this background where I didn't get full coverage. Now, I could work at this a lot harder and really get a complete coverage over the top, but I'm not using a stencil today. Stenciling clouds is one way that you can add the illusion or the visual of clouds, but for my card, I left those little swirls of white space and that will give the imagination or the eye uh, that they will automatically think that those are clouds. I used a little bit of Mermaid Lag Lagoon towards the bottom because that's where my scene is going to be built, so there would be, it would be just a little bit darker in the background. I used some Distress inks and a uh, stamping a punch that uh, cuts grass. I cut this a little bit too short and I cut it in two pieces because I thought I was going to put my strawberry house in the middle. I am going to remedy this with the signs so you see that uh, I do have that little bit of a gap, but it's going to be covered up by that sign, so I'm not worried about that space. And then I cut a second one that went all the way across the bottom and was much shorter. I used peeled paint for the bottom portion of the grass, and I believe I used mowed lawn for the top portion. And then, of course, I splattered it with water. For the terracotta pot, I used some wild honey, some rusty hinge, and I believe that's barn door. I added the ink onto my mat. I broke it up with my finger after I spritzed it with water, and then I swiped my pot through that. To add some more uh, color and to get kind of that clay look a little bit more, I'm adding some tea dye, and then I'll set that aside to dry. For my strawberry house, I built it just a little bit bigger. So I like to use, typically, I like to use white cardstock and then I ink it because I think that's just the quickest way without having to look through all of my cardstock and find the colors that I want. So I inked the strawberry up with festive berry. I added mowed lawn to that top hat of the leaf and then I used what was left on my brush for these leaves. For the top of the house, I used some Mermaid Lagoon, and then for the doors, I added, I believe I used a little bit of walnut stain, and then for the steps, I used Vintage Photo. I built this a little bit different, so those leaves that I, I'm adding to the top and the flowers, I'll also add the tendrils later on. Those were shown on the packaging to go at the bottom. So the packaging is a great way for you to kind of understand how to piece everything together, what the extra pieces are, because there are a lot of details in the cottage cut dies. And um, so I advocate for always, you know, 
peeking at your packaging. But I also think it's a good idea that you can take some artistic liberties and certainly recreate these pieces in a different way, which is what I did by adding the leaf cluster and the flowers to the top. I'm going to add these window boxes and I needed to make a little bit of an adjustment there on that window so I just re-glued it down and then I'm going to take the smaller of those flowers and I'm going to add those to my window pieces. I really loved what Lynn did in the last video with her card. She used the strawberry house without all of the house pieces, so no windows, no doors, and I just think that it's fabulous that as creators there are so many different ideas and ways that you can use these products so I hope when you see the inspiration you don't get frustrated and think what now what am I going to do with this besides copy a card you certainly have many options with these dies here is that fence and as you can see I did cut it off I'm going to add it more towards the left behind my grass and then I'm going to place my house over on the top. I wanted to talk a little bit about some of these products that I have here on this card. For the terracotta pot, I think that that's going to transition nicely into fall. You could use uh, some of the Cottage Cuts flower dyes that are available and you could use fall colors, so deeper colors for that. Uh, the mouse is also going to be peeking out here pretty soon over the sign and that mouse could certainly go into fall and even Christmas so it would be really cute for it to be peeking out of a sleigh or to be peeking out of the back of a truck for my scene I thought that I would create a paradise for this little mouse you know mice like fruit in fact speaking of fruit um, we just planted a peach tree last year at our home and this year it produced eight peaches and we were so excited about it and we didn't get a mouse that ate it but we actually the birds ate all of our peaches so my husband i'm at a, a different location for the summer my husband he happened to travel here and while he was gone the sparrows went into our peach tree and ate all eight of our peaches and we were so very sad so this little mice like this little mouse i could certainly see him sneaking into someone's garden and eating up all of their strawberries or in my case i actually have raspberry bushes right now that are growing here i'm going to tuck these strawberries so these strawberries are the ones that came with the sign and as you can see I did glue my sign over that open area of the grass that it didn't quite meet and that covered it up nicely camouflaged it and instead of adding the mouse to the basket I chose to add the mouse over the top of this sign this fresh strawberry sign you certainly could cut it out and then reverse it on the other side so flip it over where it doesn't have the embossing of the fresh strawberries or you could use the word fresh and you could uh, cut the uh, bottom sign out flip that over ink it up and then add a different word there so that it would you know tomatoes raspberries whatever you think I added the little bit of grass to the bottom of the sign and of course I'm going to add a few flowers I added the terracotta pot at an angle as if it were spilling over because there's just so many strawberries or it could be because that mischievous little mouse knocked it over and was eating the extra strawberries inside this butterfly comes from the sign and so I'm going to go ahead and add that and then again we also have the bee that comes with that fresh strawberry sign so it's another little element that will help complete my scene I wanted to make this a birthday card so I did cut out the word happy using the berry phrases you don't necessarily have to use the phrases uh, as they are so I broke it apart and used the word happy and I'm going to glue this to my card panel which is going to be eight and a half by three and a half inches I'm going to add some foam tape to the back of it this is going to give me a quarter inch reveal all around all sides of this card 
and so that will make my finished card once I get this adhered eight and a half by three and a half inches. So I added a second butterfly. I don't know if I showed that on camera or if I accidentally edited that out. And now we're going to start adhering our word happy. I also stamped out using a stamp from my stash the word birthday and then I just used my paper trimmer to cut it down. I don't know about you but I don't have any of my sentiment dies here and I'm not really great with cutting things straight with my paper trimmer so I got it as straight as I could be just as I got this word happy as straight as I could and once I add that word birthday that will complete my card for today. Now I am giving away the mouse and so the strawberries and mouse die set all you need to do to enter is make sure that you leave a comment like the video and make sure you're a subscriber the winner of my last video who won the bees uh, the honeybee die set is joy tabber or joy tabor i will have mary marsh's information linked in the description box below or I think it's now to the side. All you need to do is send her an email, let her know that you are the winner of the Honey Bee die set. Here's a look at my finished card. Thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.